This is my friend Mark. He's the skipper of the F-27 that you're seeing in this video. Mark used to build multi-hulls for Rudy Choi here in Hawaii. He used to be the Corsair dealer on Oahu and was crew on two separate Transpac record attempts on an X-5 Cat. He sailed all over the world and he makes his home in Hawaii. Ian Ferrier's Corsair 27 can go blistering fast. Mark's had her up to 25 knots. At these speeds, in choppy Hawaiian offshore conditions, water spray can blast up through a space between the main hull at the after end of the cockpit and the after inboard section of the tram. When the boat hits a wave, water coming up through that space gets everyone soaked in the cockpit especially when blasting down the face of a wave. So Mark came up with this idea to build a deflector tab and then mount it just under the space. In theory, the tab would deflect away the water and keep it from entering the space between the hull and the tramp. The under-tramp visuals that you're seeing here are of the deflector prototype. The finished version was built from an epoxy-coated Moranti, which is a BS-1088 grade African mahogany ply, and it was finished with an all-grip paint. This is the finished tab. So you just load it, you, so you load it on the strut. Two okay. struts run in here. Okay. This spares the water that would normally hit the strut and blow it straight up. This just holds it on. And that holds it onto the strut? Yep. And what, what kind of material did you use to put it together? This is just three millimeter ply, blast on the outside and epoxied on the inside. Some one by twos. That's it. Pretty low tech. Down and dirty, whatever I had at the shop at home. 